Welcome to the Expert in You podcast, the show for professional entrepreneurs, experts, authors, speakers, coaches, and consultants who are ready to elevate their business, expand their influence, and boost their bank accounts. Join us as we dive deep with industry-leading experts who share their top strategies, invaluable insights, practical tips, and personal experiences to help you achieve extraordinary growth and success. Whether you're looking to sharpen your skills, stay ahead of the curve, or find that competitive edge, this podcast is your ultimate resource for unlocking your full potential. So tune in, get inspired, grab your coffee, and let's unlock the expert in you. Raise your influence, skyrocket your business growth, and build your wealth. And today, I have Chris Miller with me, who is a legacy wealth strategist. And I just can't wait to talk about this with you because we're going to be talking about safe money and how to build your wealth by protecting your money versus risking your money. So Chris, welcome to the summit. I'm so grateful to have you here. And it's a complete honor and pleasure to be here with you. Thank you so much. You are welcome. Well, I know you are going to have so much value to bring. This is for six-figure business coaches, consultants, professional entrepreneurs who want to get into that seven figures and even beyond. And one thing that a lot of people don't think about as they're thinking, oh, I want to make a million dollars or, oh, I want to grow my business. They often don't think about what do they do with the money when they make it? How do I invest that? Where do I put it? Where is it safe? How can I even not have to pay as much in taxes? That's a big thing for people as well. So I know you have some great things to share. So I'm just going to let you jump in and let's talk about some of the ways to protect our money as we're making it and not watch it all go you know, down the drain in taxes and all of those risky investments that you can make. Right, 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 exactly. Well, you know, I found out for myself 33 years ago when I started as a planner, they were trying to get me to sell stocks, <clears throat> but I couldn't go in. You need to buy this stock, but I don't want it. I didn't like it. There was no integrity there. Mm -hmm. So I took time off to, and I lost money in the market. So I mm. took time off to find out about safe money strategies where you never lose your principal. So in 33 years, and I have over 6,000 clients, we prepared revocable living trusts. And as we started the practice, I started seeing these patterns that people were coming in like the first decade and they were doing great because they were living off the interest. And in the 90s, we had a crash. The people were coming in eating peanut butter and crackers, like something is wrong here. Mm. And the model that we've been taught is, is, is a challenge because, and I didn't know this in the beginning, I didn't even know what, what I was discovering, but it was really, this is like the secrets of the 1%. It's not that it's secret. It's just not talked about mm. where there are, right? Big gold There's, nugget right there. You're getting it here first. The secrets of the 1% building wealth. Yes. That's right. And because they have, you know, that kind of wisdom and a lot of understanding, there's mm -hmm. places where you can store your money and never lose your principal and then create income. You'll never outlive. Imagine that. And depending on your age and your health, the income can be tax free. Did you hear me tax free? <laughs> Who does not want that, right? But the thing about it is people don't realize right now we've been in the past in the lowest tax numbers, right? We're really, the only place it can do is go up. Now mm -hmm. we have inflation, which is another form of tax, a secret sure. tax. And, uh, and all of that is happening with, with, you know, you can't even build wealth because one, you, you don't have a you have a hole in where you're going to put it. You have mm -hmm. market risk. Right. And two, the, the people don't know how to plan for longevity and it's not their fault. You go to school, you learn how to make money. You get mm -hmm. out of school. What do you do? You go make money and give it to somebody else to gamble. Right. And so I think, and it was around maybe year 10, I started seeing this pattern. And it was like, all these people are coming in and they're starting their retirement plan at 50. 
60, 70. Don't be offended. Don't go in. There's no judgment. It's none of our faults. We weren't taught about it. Right. People wait till they're retired to start the retirement plan. Imagine if you had this mindset when you were 30 and 40, where you can start contributing to something that will pay you tax free, that -hmm. will build cash. And so that's what I learned about. And, And I was shocked. Oh, it's not really talked about a whole lot. You know, it's hard to get through on the mainstream because the mainstream is is selling risks. You got to risk right. your money. It's to all make about money. stocks. It's all yes, exactly. absolutely. Mm-hmm. And people don't even know that there are other things around. Quitty index annuities. Not one person ever lost one dollar in annuity in the Great Depression. But my favorite one is the Index Universal Life, and I didn't find out about this. And I'll tell you, Anna was so mad. <laughs> I didn't find out till I was fifty eight. So essentially, this is where people can, it's called investable life insurance. So what they do, Mm -hmm. it's called the IRA reboot, where they blow the death benefit up, where you can literally roll your qualified money in there. The death benefit pays the taxes, and then you can create tax-free income for life. It builds cash, Mm -hmm. and it has catastrophic illness protection. So People don't really get what an important thing that is, especially after we just went through a pandemic. Right. Seven out of 10 of us over 65 end up in a nursing home. And guess what? Nobody has most very small percent have long-term care insurance. And it's always a denial. Like I'm never going to do that. Or I'll walk out in the desert. Like my dad said, Mm -hmm. but you don't. And it's a hard conversation. I think the hardest part was my family. And there's a reason why I don't cry. When I tell the story, but my mom came up to me, she had this paper, honey, and her mom was wrong. And she's got a big tear in her. I go, what's wrong? And then I looked at it. It was a bill for Stanford Hospital for five days of chemo, $90,000. Which so had, could just run someone, sure. Right. So she had five days of chemo once a month for a year. Million Mm -hmm. dollars is not a lot of money. If you think you're going to self insure, that's not going to last you. Thank God my dad was very successful. He actually went to Caltech and Einstein was one of his teachers. So he did very well. He was such a sweetheart. And he said to me, honey, you know, in his later part of his life, you're going to inherit a million dollars. And I said, dad, I just want you. And I never planned on this money. Luckily, I didn't. Because mommy had cancer for 10 years. So they went through millions of dollars. They had no Mm. long-term care insurance. And so, like you said, you're lucky if you get something. Mm -hmm. That was never my plan, my parents, right? But it was a a wake-up call. Now, I've been in practice 10 years or so telling people about it. But I had no synchronicity. I had no feeling about the depth of it when it becomes your own family. And I'm sure a lot of listeners may have had a family member go through something or or end up losing their money. That is a huge problem for people that must be taken care of. You must have that protection because if you don't have your health, you don't have your wealth and you, you know, so that's all part of it. But what I teach my clients how to do is to take the assets and stay in your own home. Imagine getting tax-free income that you use for for care that you have your own family or friends and keep Mm -hmm. the money in the estate. So it's a whole different way of planning. And you do that when you're younger, then you're going to have this longevity play where you're Mm -hmm. not going to be paying taxes. So the amount of money is crazy. I had inside of this thing, is no risk. So you never lose your principal. And they're really beautiful for younger people. I had it. I say younger. I had a client, he is 38 and he only mm-hmm. put $500 in a month on one of these policies. So he was looking for income. He didn't really care about long-term care because it was so sure. young, but it has it on it. So he was set to get 80 to a hundred thousand tax free for life when he retired. Mm -hmm. The the numbers of the, you know, the longevity of not paying taxes, of not losing your money in the principal is amazing. And it's in my experience, what I'm showing people is what I own. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I don't sell anything I don't own. And, and I'm proud of that because I've had what I've had for decades. And I have a lot of equity index annuities. So that's a product that not one person mm-hmm. ever lost $1 in an annuity in the Great Depression. So that's more like for older people that are, you know, 55, 59 and up. Mm-hmm. And what it is, it's like a savings account with an insurance company where you never lose your principal. And they're always a few points above inflation. And you're always making money with these things. So, for example, you can roll it over, say you have 100,000, just as an example, you can roll it over into an equity index annuity. Say you put it in today and tomorrow, we're in the Great Depression, guess what? Nothing happens. Mm-hmm. You're only going to catch the upside. If it goes up 2%, you lock in right. 2%, goes down, right? Nothing happens. So all of these products that I use are only catching the upside. Principle is safe. Now I want to talk about this too for just a minute, yeah, Chris, because sure. I have lost money in the stock market. My husband has lost money in the stock market. And obviously I know a lot of people around us, my son, a lot of people that have lost money in the stock market. And here's what a lot of people don't realize is the stock market. I, I remember reading something Warren Buffett said, don't ever invest anything in the stock market that you cannot afford to lose. If you cannot afford to lose it, do not invest it. And so really the stock market is when you have money more or less to play with and you can take a risk. But a lot of people, because of the way we've been taught, a lot of people think that that is retirement. That is where they should put their money when they make money. That is the way to go. And the thing that you've said that's so powerful is none of your clients over 6,000 have never lost a dollar. And so if you want to protect your money, especially as I get into my older age, that you want to protect your money. You don't want to risk everything that you've worked so hard to make. You know, I'm so glad that you have the ears to hear because it's because you people were so busy. There's so much coming at us. And what I talk about The biggest problem I have is procrastination. People want to put all of these things later. There are three main things people got to learn. You know, I talk about that in my number one bestselling book, Ready for pre Which we'll talk about. Yes, yes, go ahead. But the point is that, you know, this is the point that I, I want people to know. No matter what age you are, there's some very cool things that you can put your money into mm-hmm. now and not lose a dime. Why is this important right now? Why should you take off an hour on Sunday to read and learn about this? I call it a retirement holiday, meaning take time to learn about this mm-hmm. for yourself. Is it we're coming through this big money change? They want to change the world into a global economy with yes. one, you know, one health digital right? currency. Yes, digital. Okay, everybody hears the so, the story, but it's going to happen so fast. So there's a number of things that you should do to be ready. There's a big shift coming. Some of it is going to be catastrophic. I'm not. I, you know, only God knows and how and when and why. But there's mm-hmm. some huge major shakenings that's going to be happening and i always tell everybody it used to be you know i have a six day rainy day money you should have at least a year mm-hmm. seriously rainy day right money. you should have right. beans and rice you should yes. have precious metals you should have water access you should have a little solar battery this is real this isn't like conspiracy this is real you mm-hmm. should have you should have your money safe you know you can turn on you know cable news and watch one day it goes down 500 and right. then it goes up that makes me, turns my tummy, right? Makes me sick because of, not that I'm so smart, Anne. It's just, I've done this for 30 years. So I've seen the pattern. Learned some things. That's right. You learn a few things. Mm-hmm. And this is the pattern that most people live in. And they don't realize this subconscious fear that they're living in. Will right. the market be up or down when I retire? Yeah. Imagine if you're one of those people and you hit the time where it's like, okay, time to work less right? Life without work is retirement, Mm -hmm. or you want to change your thing into more of a give back. This is where you can take these kind of products and turn on an income. Mm -hmm. So these annuities are set up. There's two kinds. One is a income annuity and one is a growth annuity. So when I first started out, I didn't know what I was doing, but I knew I didn't want my, I didn't want to lose any more money. Mm -hmm. So I rolled my money and I split it in half and I put some in income 
some mm-hmm. in growth. And I had it at 62, 65, 67. When it got to those ages, I'd start my income. Well, I got to 62 and hey, I'm like a 30 year old. I didn't need the income. I'm still working. I've got great mm-hmm. business. So you defer it, which means you just get more, just mm-hmm. like social security. If you can set up all your income streams, you'll get 30% more on your social security at age 70 than you do at your full retirement right. age. But of course, you're not going to be told that, right? You're because, you know, they get less money. Hi, friend. I have an exciting announcement. I hope you're enjoying this episode of Expert in You podcast, but I have to ask you, have you checked out the latest issue of Expert in You magazine yet? It's jam-packed with rich content, powerful strategies, inspiring stories, and so much more to help you elevate your business and personal growth. Don't miss out. Go grab your digital copy now and join our community of experts making a difference every day. Go to expertinyoumagazine.com and check out your digital copy today. Transform your expertise into success with Expert in You magazine. It's not just a publication. It is a movement. Mm -hmm. Social security is a big annuity at 8% simple. That's what it is. It's a big annuity. So that you're putting a lot of your nest egg in that. So imagine you can get 30% more on your retirement account. You have all these different income streams, and then you have a pile of cash that's just growing tax deferred. Mm -hmm. So when mine grew, and then at the end of the term, you know, because I've had them 30 years, I just roll it over into another annuity, which means like for like, I haven't paid taxes. I'll take paid taxes on those annuities when I take Mm -hmm. the money out. And so the IUL, the tax-free income, like I told you, I didn't find that out till I was 58. And honestly, I did mine at 64. Now I was going to ask you what's it, what's an age. So I'm guessing that on this summit, we'll probably have 30 plus, but we'll probably have 50 and 60 year olds wondering, right. is it too late? Am no. I too late? And so no. talk about that just a little bit. What if you didn't do all of those things? And now here you are. Well, you know, I, 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 I'm happy to say it's never too late. I work with people all the way up to 90. Okay. Interesting. But, okay. Right? I have, mm-hmm. I have clients that are like, you know, young nineties and mm-hmm. they don't want to lose money. Now they have 10, right. you know, they have 10, a few more years. So, so it's never too late. And the 30 year olds are going to do maybe do something different than the 50 year olds. It's not a right. one size fits all. That's, you know, what I do with a financial fitness strategy session and vet it out. So each person is different. And then we dial it in what is your goals? You know, what's your income? What do you see for yourself? You have family and you build all of that in there because it's a living plan. It's, mm-hmm. and, and it's a lot different than just stick your money in the casino and buy and hold and hope that it'll be there when you get there. Right. 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 Now in my dad's day, that was beautiful. He did very well in the stock market. He was born in 1919. Okay. So Mm -hmm. that's changed. This is not my dad's market. Right. It's a different market. And it's now controlled by algorithms and and powers that be. So Mm -hmm. you want to be in control of your own money. And that's what I show my clients how to do is to take control of that. Here's one for you. Say you have an IRA, right? Or a 401k. Now you can't do it while you're working. Although some companies allow you to take a certain percent. But what you if you're, t- uh, this is entrepreneurs. So what if you're okay. an entrepreneur? How, well, do, how Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Okay. Well, there's people that were in corporations that retired and said, I want to create my own business. And they maybe have a 401k or an IRA that's sitting there, mm-hmm. right? And they're just moving on to their next thing. And that's a big tax bomb because you're going to pay that at ordinary income. And this is what people don't realize when they're doing their plans. Like, oh, I've got, and I'll just use a hundred thousand or a million. You can add zeros. All right. I got this hundred thousand, you know, when I'm in, you're doing your budget for your plan. Mm -hmm. No, you don't. You're going to pay 40, 50% in taxes. So the IUL does a neat thing. It's called the IRA reboot. 
So say you have a big pile of money that's got a bunch of taxes on it. Mm -hmm. You can distribute that in and you do it over five to 10 years. Every time you take it and put it into the IUL, Index Universal Life, Mm -hmm. this is the hybrid insurance policy, they blow the death benefit up and you can take money from the death benefit to pay the taxes. So instead of taking out money from the 100,000, your full 100,000 will be in this amazing vehicle that is going to make tax-free money for you. Now, as it's building, right, over a number of years, there's cash inside of it. Mm -hmm. A lot of real, real, realtors, real estate flippers use these kind of products. Well, they'll blow up the cash They'll take a loan from their cash, buy a house, flip the house, and put it back in cash. Mm -hmm. The loan is 4%. So they could actually take a loan from their own money. Hey, they could take the money from there and never pay it back. It's not required, but you you want the income. You don't want to right. dissolve the policy. But a lot of high-end people that have extra wealth use those for investments. Mm -hmm. So it has a cash pile. It has an income pile and it has a catastrophic pile and it has a death benefit pile just in case you exit before you think you're going to go and your family is covered. To me, of all the things that we have right now, this is the most, it covers everything. You don't have to buy mm -hmm. all these individual things that'll, because of my experience with the, you know, all the ages of life, each You've age, seen it I, firsthand. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I love this. And, you know, I will tell you, Chris, for many, many, many years, when I first came across financial advisors for the first time, I heard them say over and over again, well, it's a 10 year cycle. It's a 10 year cycle. It, you know, when you put your money in and it loses, don't worry because it's a 10 year cycle. Right. When you're at a, an age, you know, an age that is maybe 40 or 50 or 60, you don't feel like you have 10 year cycles like you do when you're 20. You start right. thinking about, okay, even though we don't know when we're going to exit, you still start considering those things and you start thinking differently about your money, about your future than you do when you're 20 years old and you're indispensable and you know that you can go out and just make a lot more money. But as you get even like 50, for example, people start seeing that runway get shorter. And I don't have these 10 year cycles. I mean, realistically, it doesn't make sense. And so I, the reason I, I wanted Chris on here is because she is showing different options. And I also know that what you are saying is spot on because I, ha I have a coach who is a hundred million dollar coach and she talks about these wealth strategies all the time and how she's invested this way. And she said, even at, at some point when she retires, she said, I have built it up that I will make $300,000 a month mm -hmm. from what I have built. And, right. and so that is when you start looking at the people that are extremely wealthy using these strategies, you know that they're the real deal. Exactly. And, and what happens to a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners is that we all make money and put it back in our business. So if you can have a plan now, then mm -hmm. you can allocate. You're going to have to allocate more than 10%. Sorry, you got to start now because you're not going to have a, a big runway to when you get to that time right. you want to take the income. And this is like, uh, you know, what they call the last dec lost decade, like Japan mm -hmm. just went through, you know, minus bad, you know, no economy. And, and it doesn't. Uh, what you see on the cable new cable is fake, meaning those numbers that are going in the market, that's all money that they've just printed to keep the economy going mm -hmm. a couple more years. So they have to, you know, face some music, but they keep putting it back. It's like someone having a credit card. It just keeps using the credit card. Right. And it's a big, it's a big boom. Mm -hmm. And so you take back control of your money is energy. Your money is your life. You're spending all this time. And this is what, where we blow it as entrepreneurs. We don't learn about, okay, where do I store this money? Because mm -hmm. 
you put it somewhere and it's just like planting a flower with a gopher, right? Yeah. And, and, and the places that we're taught all have gophers. The fees that your brokers pay, you pay mm-hmm. um, not only the market loss is two to 4%. Imagine that with big amounts of money. That's a lot of money you get. It is a just lot. Yes. Fees. Do they call you up and say, hey, Ann, we're having a crash in a day. You should move your money. Do they call you up and tell you that? Most of no, them No, they don't. do not. No. Most of them don't. That's what really hurt my heart was when I was started. And I didn't have a lot of money when I started. Mm-hmm. And I saw widows and widowers like, well, where's your broker? Like, they're not calling them. You give it to them and trust that they will do what is right. But at the end of the day, they have no attachment to your money and they don't really care. It's a job for them, right? It's Yes. The other thing I want to talk about is because we're talking to entrepreneurs here. So I have sold five businesses. And so for that, you know, you get chunks of money when you sell those businesses. And so if you are putting money back into your business, you're building an asset, hopefully you're building an asset. And now you will have something that when you decide to exit that particular business, even if you're going to start something else, like I did, you will be able to make money back on all of that. But then again, you have to know where, where do I go with it now? Because if you don't do something with it, it is taxed heavily and you will give away half of what you just sold that business for. So you have to know where to put your money. Exactly. And the the things that, that we don't know when we're, when we're making these transitions, like, like a pandemic, who would have ever thought that we'd be locked down? So here's a personal example of I'm going along and I have a very successful business. And then boom, I can't, I'm a national speaker. Can't go out, do that anymore. Go to live events. Can't do, have my live events anymore. So then I had to, you know, switch over to, to the digital. So the income went, and then, but that's okay because I have my money in safe places. I have an annuity that I can go in and take 10% out. And I use that and I just, everything, all I did was shift to the digital world. So Mm -hmm. my business did very well, even in a pandemic, because I had that money right there available, take it out and pay the bill and keep on going. So there's some really cool ways to set this up for yourself. Because you know what, Ann, when you get in your third and fourth quarter, you know what the most important thing is? Income. People want that check in the mailbox. And there's actually a study that the people that had these kind of products live longer. There's a real study about that. <laughs> well, if, number one, it reduces stress, right? Hit, and worry, right. You're, yep. you know, and, and here's something that I want to say too. The more money you make, the more worrisome it gets. You think it's, <laughs> you think it's stressful when you don't have right. any, it is even more stressful when you have money. However, it, in a different way. In a different way, I would much rather have it and have to worry about that than not have it because I've been in both places. So let's talk about your book real quick, Chris. What is your number one best-selling book? Well, it's Ready for Pre-Retirement. The pre was planned retirement early. Okay. Three Secrets for Safe Money and a Fabulous Future. And I what I that's sort of consolidates everything that I've learned in my practice for. 33 years. Okay. The three things that you must make sure you're, you don't have any leaks in your boats is one, mm-hmm. make sure you have a living trust that mm-hmm. your assets are protected from catastrophic illness, probate powers of attorney for financial and health. I don't care if you don't have wealth, you should have that because mm-hmm. if you become incapacitated, someone could keep the business going, pay the bills and medically I want my own family to make my decisions for me, not a doctor. So very important, whether you have money or not. So write paperwork, protection of assets from catastrophic illness. I talked Mm -hmm. a little bit about that. And then the, and the great recession and and realize, just like you said, Ann, whatever money you have in there is the gamble part. So have some safe money to Mm -hmm. balance that out. You have, would you like the risk? Some people really like Las Vegas and that risk. So (laughs) Right, they they do, and yes. they get a, their adrenaline or whatever. But have a certain percent. But be realistic, you guys. Mm-hmm. We're, we really are on a brink of digital change, global war. I mean, let's you know, you can name all the lists. It's pretty intense, and I I don't say that 
as, oh, you should be scared. No, you should be empowered. This should, empower you should be aware. You. And yes, yes. What you, you know, it's what you don't know that can really hurt you. That's right. And exactly. when you know, then now you can take the actions and you can take steps to, like you said, to be empowered and right. not fearful right? Um, or caught off guard. <laughs> That's probably a better way to say it. Yeah. Everyone was caught off guard with the pandemic. I mean, I watched so many business coaches and consultants go back and get jobs or, yeah. you know, because they couldn't make it because they didn't, they hadn't prepared and even moved into the online world, into the virtual world. They were still trying to do everything the way they had done it in the past. And, right. and we just saw firsthand that that just was an epic fail for a lot of people because now they were scrambling and a lot of them never did really recover. They, they went back. I, I mean, I talk to coaches and consultants all the time and I can't tell you how many of them went back and got jobs. A lot. I mean, the whole speaking industry is, I mean, you oh, know, it's another few, example. Right? It's another thing, mm -hmm. but, but yeah, that story is really true. That's why, you know, when I'm doing financial fitness strategies, mm -hmm. it's a customized thing for people because it, your situation is going to be different than, you know, somebody else. Obviously that's not, right. That's right. not different, but you want it customized. I mean, you may want to empower your kids or your grandkids. What do you do? You mm -hmm. could see a lot of trouble on the horizon. You may exit before they do. What, right. what is your like your living legacy? That's what I call living legacy, taking all the assets and the things that you have and, and then looking at at a whole picture, like a, a roadmap from, you know, now to a hundred and yes. I plan for a hundred or 120 and mm -hmm. it does something to the brain too, when you think that way, but just, <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> I had a grandmother that lived to be 105. So there you go. Yes. Yes. And she was <laughs> right. very protected and everything that she had done to the point that everything that she had accumulated paid for her all the way up until the very end. Now there wasn't a lot left. I will yeah, just say that, but it had. did, it yeah. did cover living to be 105 and who would have thought, right? So yeah, that's um, wonderful. This that's is beautiful. so, so important. I, that's why, you know, talking about wealth secrets and building wealth and the part that people don't talk about is, okay, what do you do with that money when you make it? <laughs> I mean, you have to know what right. to do with it, right? Yeah. Or you will yeah. lose it. You can easily lose it all if you're not careful or if you don't know the right strategies to use that are right for you. I love, Chris, that you're also, that you also do customized strategies with people. Yeah. It isn't cookie cutter. One thing that I think, I have nothing against financial advisors. I have a lot of them that are friends but they go and they just get trained and they, they yep. follow the training and it is sort of cookie cutter and yeah. in, in how yeah. they do things. And they only know what they're being taught within that company. And so getting outside the box and learning yes. different ways of doing things. And like she said, and I just want to hit on this again, because it's so critical is she is talking about what the 1% of wealthy know, but most people don't. The mainstream does not know these strategies. And that's exactly why, again, I had her on so that she could share these things with you because, you know, when you know, you can be prepared and you can make better decisions. And that's as entrepreneurs, we need to be making good decisions to, with our money, with our time, with our resources, everything. Otherwise you're working hard for nothing. You're going to end up working yep. hard for nothing. So yep. exactly. So good, Chris. Yeah, she's so somebody. good. Beautiful. All right. Exactly. So I know you have a free gift for everyone to for joining us so what is right. that that we can share okay well actually there are two things the next chapter okay. checklist right and and because you don't know what you don't know you'll be able to download that and then give you ideas of things that you need to start to organize perfect and, and you'll be able to you know have a process to do that and i recommend you do take take time out to start learning what we're talking about mm -hmm. i mean you can get my book or there's a lot of information out there. I have a lot of webinars out there too, but just take the time to learn about it. Cause you're, right. you know, you're doing your business, but take that time to learn about it. Mm -hmm. And then also a, a financial fitness strategy session. I'm offering that at, at meet with Chris Miller.com Chris with a K. And I don't charge for that. I'll be able to just ask you those special questions, your age, your health, your wealth, your goals. But the value I'm of that can be priceless. It Absolutely is. priceless. Yes. 
That's so it. Yeah. Thank you. That's exactly right. And you'll, I think it's helping my longevity because I have in the back of my, in the back of my mind, I'm covered. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and yes. there's, there's peace there. I mean, a lot of things can happen, but I do have plans in place and that gives right. you peace of mind, which gives you longevity and, right. and joy. And there are no guarantees, about. people. I, I just no. want to I just want to make that point. No there are guarantees. absolutely no guarantees in life. All you can do is protect yourself the best way that you can. Right. And, you know, I believe that if God brings things like this to you, yeah. there's a reason why you're learning this. There's a reason mm-hmm. why you're getting to know this. So how often do we ignore things that are put right in front of us mm-hmm. thinking, like you said, oh, I have time to do that. And the runway gets shorter. I just want to say, so. <laughs> yes, really, Anne. It's so true. And and the beautiful thing that I'm just seeing now, kind of as as we're you know having the conversation, is I'm actually I own what I sell. I mean, I you know, mm-hmm. I mean, I've lived it for 30 years. It's not like oh, I just tested it out or it's something. Right. It actually, it was God bless me. I'll just put it. I got a really yes. special plan here. And it got put together real time. Mm-hmm. And so I, my goal now is to share it with millions so they don't go off the cliff. Yes, I love it. Thank, Thank you, you so much for being here. I'm so honored and Thank grateful you. that you shared your expertise and 30 years in this industry. And she has seen the ups and downs. And so she's not just talking from, oh, the news or what you see out there. And she she truly has lived this. She has seen it. She's seen it for herself. And she even lived it when she talked about with her father, yeah. all of those things. She She's seen this for many, many years. And so you have to trust people that have been around for a very long time and, and, you know, they've seen a lot of ups and downs and cycles and there's so much value in that. So Chris, again, thank you so much. Uh, You'll be able to grab those free gifts. We'll put the links for you to get those and so grateful. Definitely reach out to Chris as well and get to know her, book that call with her. You have nothing to lose by booking that custom strategy call with her to strategize your wealth. Thank you, Anne. What a a joy. Thank you. Thank you. Have an amazing day. Thank you for tuning in today. If you're as excited as I am about scaling up your influence, business, and bank account, then I have just the thing for you. But first, make sure you subscribe to the show. Second, make sure you share it with someone you care about because sharing is caring. And third, head on over to join me in my next free virtual exclusive workshop where we'll explore proven strategies to boost your business and maximize your potential. Look, it doesn't matter if you're just starting out or if you're looking to take your business to the next level, my workshops are designed for you. So head on over to expertinyourworkshop.com to reserve your spot and get ready to transform your expertise into extraordinary success. I'm looking forward to seeing you there and helping you achieve incredible growth. Until next time, make sure you're always seeking the expert in you and God bless. Have an amazing day.